So for today's problem, we're going to be looking at two ideal gases, gas A and gas B. Both of them are in the same capillary tube, but separated by a divider. And we know that the capillary tube is completely closed off, and it's at constant pressure and constant temperature. And eventually, the, both, both the gases will become a mixture. And so we're trying to find the relationship between the molar and the mass diffusive flux. Um, and since we both, we know that both of these gases are ideal gases, we're able to look at uh, the ideal gas law P V equals N R T. And we have from the question that temperature and pressure are constant. And since the capillary tubes enclose the volumes the same, and since it's also enclosed, like, uh, no gas is being um, released into the atmosphere, no gas is coming into the capillary tube. And because there, no, there's no uh, gas diffusing out of the capillary tube or coming into the capillary tube, we can uh, conclude that the total molar flux, which is N, equals zero. And N equals the total molar flux of A plus, or the molar flux of A plus the molar flux of B, and that equals zero. So knowing that the total molar flux equals zero, we also know that the total molar flux equation uh, equal uh, is the molar concentration times the average molar velocity. And that also has to be equal zero uh, because of what we have written here at the top. And so, since the total molar flux equals zero, either the concentration of the mixture or the total the molar uh, average velocity has to equal zero in order to satisfy this equation. And um, since there's two gases inside the capillary tube we know that the molar average velocity has to be equal to zero percent of the equation. And now, looking at the uh, molar and mass diffusive flux equations, which are, um, well, the molar diffusive flux equation is big J equals the um, the molar concentration uh, I times the velocity I um, minus the molar average velocity. And little j is uh, the mass diffusive flux equation, and that's the molar co uh, mass concentration of I times the velocity of I minus the mass average velocity. And I is just a subscript which we will eventually uh, introduce A and B into uh, to make these equations more tailored to our question. But for now, we can substitute our uh, molar average velocity into our mass molar diffusive flux equation. And we could say that the molar diffusive flux equals uh, the molar concentration of I times the velocity of i. And since we could um, say that we can rearrange um, to solve for the velocity of i, and we get that the velocity of i equals the molar diffusive flux divided by the molar concentration of i. And um, we could also write that it's Ji here, molar mass diffusive flux of I. Um, just to be uh, clear. And so once we have denoted that the velocity of I equals the molar diffusive flux of I divided by the molar concentration of I, we're able to plug that into the mass diffusive flux equation and say that the mass diffusive flux of I equals the mass concentration of I times the molar diffusive flux of I divided by the molar concentration of I minus the 
mass average velocity of the whole system. And from looking at this, we also know that our um, mass, or yeah, our mass average velocity equals the sum of our mass concentrations times the velocities of each uh, substance. So the sum of VI, uh, or the sum of rho I, which is the mass concentration, times the velocity of I, all divided by rho, which is the total of mass concentration. And so in our case, since we have two gases, we can say that the, the, the mass average velocity equals the sum of the mass concentration of A uh, times the velocity of A plus the mass concentration of B times the velocity of B, all divided by the total mass concentration right here. And we can plug this equation into the mass diffusive flux equation and we can expand out. So let's let's do that. And draw a here. And then J little j i, which is the mass diffusive flux equals the mass concentration of I times uh, the molar diffusive flux of I divided by the molar concentration of I minus the uh, mass concentration of A times uh, velocity of A plus mass concentration of B times velocity of B all divided by the total uh, mass concentration of the system. And for now, our state, we could say that we're solving, for example, for J8. So let's erase the I here and write eight. And one thing that we could also notice is that um, we could plug in this generic formula for the velocity of the gas, Vi, uh, as well into um, a Va and Vb. So we can go ahead and do that as well. And let's draw the arrow just to show what we're doing here. And we could do the mass concentration of A times the a molar diffusive flux of A divided by the molar concentration of A minus the mass concentration of A times the molar diffusive flux of A divided by the mass concentration of A uh, and then plus the mass concentration of B times the molar concentration of B or molar diffusive flux of B divided by the molar concentration of B, all divided by the total concentration, total mass concentration of the system. And what we also can tell here is that um, the relationship between the mass or mass concentration and molar concentration is that they're related by molecular weight. So we can go ahead and say up here that. Uh, the rho, which is the mass, divided, um, mass concentration of a substance divided by the molar concentration of a substance equals the molecular weight. Which I'll write in short as MW up here. Um, so now we can go ahead and see what matches up with molecular weight, which uh, we can see that the mass concentration of A divided by the molar concentration of A is right here, and same thing is applied here, so the mass concentration of A divided by the molar concentration of A, and the mass concentration of B divided by the molar concentration of B. So let's start condensing the 
mass diffusive flux equation. So you could do Right there here. So what we have got here is that we took our Merlin field wave formula and applied it into our mold, uh, mass diffusive flux equation, and we started simplifying. So we have the mass diffusive flux of A equals the molecular weight of A times the molar diffusive flux of A subtracted by the molecular weight of A times the molar diffusive flux of A plus the molecular weight of B times the molar uh, diffusive flux of B all divided by rho, which is the total con total mass concentration of the system. And from here, we can um, notice that in our picture, let's say that this is the positive x direction. Going to the right is the positive x direction. And if A is moving in the right direction, B is moving in the negative direction. So we could also say here that um, JA is equal to negative JB. And so we can apply what we have written here into the mass diffusive flux equation again um, to simplify things down more and we can put everything in terms of JA, which is the, or capital J, which is the molar diffusive flux of A. So let's go ahead and do that. to every every part of the equation. So this still has a mass concentration A multiplied out here. Let's just add that there. Um, and so once we have that, we're able to notice that the mass concentration of uh, mass concentration of A divided by the total concentration, total mass concentration equals the mass fraction. So we can go ahead and write as a general formula rho i divided by rho equals mass fraction. And we can go ahead and also define that as a w. Um, w i to be specific. And so to show the relationship between uh, the molar mass diffusive flux, all we have to do is incorporate the mass fraction formula here, and we can say that the mass diffusive flux J a little like J A equals molecular weight. Diffusive flux of A minus molecular weight of A times the molar diffusive flux of A plus the molecular weight of B times the molar diffusive. 
piece of flux of B. And that is the relationship between molar and mass diffusive flux.